in this video we will see the comparison between computation of dft using direct method and using fft algorithm so here i have shown the table so here computation of dft using direct method so these five columns are with respect to computation of dft using direct method and computation of dft using fft algorithm shown in these two columns so here the first column is number of point dft that is nothing but n number of stages required this is with respect to the algorithm fft algorithm where number of stages are required the formula for that is log n to the base 2 so the number of complex multiplications in case of direct method required is n square number of complex additions required is n square minus n real multiplications required is 4 n square real additions required is 4 n square minus 2 n trigonometric functions required is 2 n square Similarly, with respect to FFT algorithm, the number of complex multiplications required is n by 2 log n to the base 2 and number of complex additions required is n log n to the base 2. So here I have considered different values of n and the corresponding values I have calculated. For example, if we consider 4 point DFT, then the number of stages required is 2 number of complex multiplications required in case of direct method is 16 number of complex additions is 12 real multiplications is 64 real additions is 56 trigonometric functions is 32 similarly number of complex multiplication that can be calculated using this formula substitute n equal to 4 in this formula will get 4 and if you substitute any n value in this formula will get 8 so these are the formula in case of direct method and these two are the formula in case of, in case of FFT algorithm. So one should remember these all formulae. So now we will see the speed improvement factor for multiplication or it is also known as improvement in processing speed for multiplication. The formula for this is, so here it is number of complex multiplications in a direct method divided by number of complex multiplications in FFT algorithm that is n square divided by n by 2 log n to the base 2 which is n square divided by n by 2 log n to the base 2. So this formula gives the speed improvement factor for multiplication. If we consider say n is equal to 1024 let me substitute 1024 1, in this equation. It is 1024 square divided by 1024 divided by 2 log n that is 1024 divided base 2 which gives the result as 204.8. Similarly, the speed improvement factor for addition, the formula for this is, now you consider the addition number of complex addition in direct method divided by number of complex addition in FFT algorithm that is n square minus n divided by n log n to the base 2 n square divided by n log n to the base 2 so here if we consider n equal to 1024 1024 square divided by 1024 log 1024 to the base 2 it gives 102.3 so likewise the speed improvement factor for addition and multiplication can be calculated for any value of n using these two formulae thank you for watching